Good morning. It's Wednesday, May 16th. A lot going on this morning. Uh, we're going to hear from Lori Fine, which is something we've been building up to the last couple of days. And, and by the way, Governor Cuomo is also in town. Yeah, lots of news Talking today. important issues. We're going to get to that story in a second, too. I'm Matt Mulcahy. And I'm Kelly French. First, we're going to head over to Peter with a look at our forecast. Hey, we've got some changes hour by hour today, so let's discuss those. Early this morning, there's some thick fog in Cortland. Just called the airport there. They have less than one quarter mile visibility there. Oswego County Airport in Fulton, one quarter mile visibility, but it's kind of haphazard and patchy because Syracuse, Rome, Watertown, Penyan, Ithaca, Lansing, we're okay in the visibility department, so it's in patches. If you've got the fog, it'll burn off later this morning. Radar is quiet. We're down to 54 at the airport, many mid 50s right now. There's a string of showers there just west of Toronto that we're going to eyeball for later today. But the bus stop, again, if you've got the fog, it burns off. Otherwise, you're mostly sunny in the mid-50s to mid-60s. We should make a fairly warm lunch hour for you around 66, uh, I'm sorry, 76, 77. At that point, though, the front's getting closer, so there's an opportunity for a scattered passing shower or thunderstorm. The highest risk for thunder, though, is actually going to be just south and just southeast and east of Syracuse. Those of you in Casanova, in Rome, in Utica, in Cortland, in Norwich, you have a higher probability of getting a thunderstorm because you're a little further to the southeast as that front's coming through. We continue to watch the fog and also how the weather changes over the next seven days. We'll talk about that in the weekend coming up.